by the way. We'll rehearse later. Oh. <laughs> well, we feel like we're part of it. We do. Oh, we do good. You guys enjoy yeah. the show. Yeah. Yeah. All we could hear backstage was five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> oh, stop. So back into it. What is it like for you all to be back together? Yeah, welcome. Oh. It's After 30, 35 years here in the UK. Yeah. It's horrible to be back together. We, we actually can't stand each other. Oh, no, it's, it's this is it's brilliant. It's yeah. brilliant. Because we're all immediately kids again. Yeah. Yeah, it's we kind all... of like Thanksgiving in, in the, the United States. Everybody uh, just reverts back into yeah. their old childhood. Yeah. Exactly. Role in the family. Well, the reason... We arrive together, we all kiss each other hello, and then we all get cold. But the reason why you're all here <laughs> is because of one person. Detector Inspective Sue Hines, please come in soon. To mention, it was about a year ago when you were on the one show and you had this dream of reuniting the cast. Yep. Um, what was it like to be surrounded by them back on the one show? It's a bit like yeah. an alternative universe, to be honest. <laughs> it's a bit surreal. Yeah. You know, not just to be on TV, but to be on TV with these guys. Who, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. listen, it's a fantastic cause that you're doing it for, which we'll get yeah. to in a moment. Yeah. Um, you've done a super job as a, a, as a detective, as a, as a police uh, policewoman. It's quite a story. Here's Carrie. <laughs> The stars of fame visited the UK in 1982, and Sue's dream was to bring them back to perform for British fans again. So many people were saying it, and I just thought, well, don't just say it, do something about it, make it happen. Sue made plans for two concerts and booked this massive venue at her own expense. What if you don't sell enough tickets? I might have to sell my house. <laughs> Is it really that big a risk? Well, yeah, it's a big risk. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's really it's going really well. Today is a really big day. A lot of the cast are arriving. One member of the cast has flown in already. The two have been pen pals since Val replied to a fan letter from an 11-year-old Sue. So, so yeah, without Val, this wouldn't really have happened because she's been a big help. She's been instrumental in me getting in touch with all the cast and getting everyone together, getting everybody on board. No, it really wouldn't oh, have yeah. happened without you. <laughs> <laughs> The first task for Sue and her famous friend is to collect P.R. Paul, who played Montgomery. I'm sorry, no autographs, no autographs. <laughs> Sue's planning a top-notch production. She's booked a director, a choreographer, stage manager, wardrobe mistress, and the dancers from the Liverpool Media Academy will provide the energy of the original show. The dancers are all too young to remember the series, but they're fans having watched it online. It was the start of like what we do now. Yeah, like, yeah. like what we do now at LA is just what fame was. At last, Sue can breathe easy. The cast of all arrives safely. And it's a big moment when the whole team meet for rehearsals for the first time. <laughs> Especially for Sue. <laughs> it's been 35 years since they last performed in the UK, and there's one question I've got to ask. Can you all still sing and dance? No. 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 <laughs> it's kind of nerve-wracking, I think, honestly, for some of us, because we, we don't perform live all the time anymore. So how are we doing on the ticket sales front? Um, the Sunday is sold out, it has been for a while. Uh, the Monday matinee is not sold out yet, but it's not far behind, so there are still tickets available. And you get to keep your house. Yes. I take, took on a lot of financial commitments to do this, so if it hadn't been successful, I would have had to have found the money from somewhere to, to make it up. At least Sue's not having to pay big fees. The cast are doing this for costs only, and are hoping to raise money for charity. First and foremost, you're a fan, and they're here. Yes, so I've also got to get beyond that. I've also got to be the producer and be sensible and not be the screaming fan. A little bit. A little bit. There's a, the little 12 year old in me is screaming all the time. <laughs> well, I think it's going to be great. But it also looks like Sue has managed to make her dream come true, which is really what fame was all about. It's been a 
an emotional week. It's really overwhelming. Plus, we've been to Claire House this morning, so we're all emotional anyway. So, yeah. It's yeah. Been, inspiring. It's just, yeah. it's, it is it totally inspiring. And that's the reason why you're doing yes. this, yes. This, this hospice, yeah. which is yes. in, it's Liverpool. Then, it is, yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah. Needed. Yeah. yeah. And what were your thoughts on that? I know, Cynthia, you said to me earlier on that it was a, a really Beautiful. heartfelt. It, you, you know, they, they're just allowing not only the children, but the whole family to live life fully. Every moment you've got, which is what we should all be doing anyway. Yes. yes. You know, to be grateful for every moment and just really live fully. And they just let the kids play like crazy. Yeah. Kids. You know, even the 18 year olds, they take them out to the pub. <laughs> now, because it's like, what would 18 year olds be doing? They'd be going to the pub. So they take them to the pub. Now, yeah. Sue, but in the film, you talked about this letter that you had wrote when you were 11. So this is how it all started. Yeah. It? This connect. Have you still also, got the letter? She's got some. <laughs> <laughs> Have you still got it? I asked her what she wanted me to keep. No, she. The thing that happened, too, was. It took a while, and I finally, I got a letter from a friend of hers who said, Sue has written you so many letters, you have to write her back. Because, yeah. you know, we'd sent a picture and did all those. And that's really how it started. And yeah. then eventually letters turned into emails, turned into visits, turned into really important visits mm -hmm. for both mm -hmm. of us. And a friendship. And a deep friendship. Deep friendship. Yeah. 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 But the show, I mean, it was so popular right around the world. I mean, you must have been getting letters from all sorts of different countries. So where, where, were, you, where were your fan bases? Because it was a quite modest in America, wasn't it, initially? Yeah, uh, it, it was. I can't even, I, I don't even know. There were countries I didn't know how to pronounce. <laughs> oh, I, it really? was astounding. Yeah, it was really, I don't know. Was it Israel? I think it Israel. Was really it was 80, 80 it was plus really countries. And, mm -hmm. and it was because most shows are done six years in, in the U.S. and then they syndicated. We, we, did, we were canceled from the network. So we were we were syndicated from the moment we were canceled. Mm. So we were syndicated in all of these countries. So right. we were getting letters, you know, from anywhere the country, anywhere in the world that the show was, you know, in the UK, of course, um, Italy, uh, Israel, 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 lots of letters. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It just went on and on. And that feeling then to be receiving, you know, all of this correspondence from places like that. What was it like at that age for you? It's just uh, surreal, overwhelming. I mean, you know, especially especially when we came to the UK and we saw the evidence that that the show had had had, had gone over so Bands well. Are yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. You know, playing these enormous Everywhere. arenas. I don't think anybody would have thought like, oh, we're doing a television series. It gets cancelled from the network. The next thing we know, they're in the raw. Yeah. You know, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. All this is happening. Royal Albert Hall. Yeah. Royal Albert Hall. Wow. Mm -hmm. Jesse, where have you flown in from? to be here? Uh, Los Angeles, right. but I'm originally from San Antonio, Texas. Uh -huh. But it, it was a hit there, too. My grandmother used to have to... We got cancelled for Hee Haw in my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> and while the show was running, it was so popular that people would stay up and watch it on WGN from Chicago. My grandmother had to stay up till 1 in the morning to watch really? the shows. Yeah. But that's how popular the show was. Mm -hmm. And I was a fan of it because I was going to a performing arts college. Okay. And we would all... That was the one show that we would all watch. I think a lot of were. Yeah, actually, I went to the same performing arts college California that he Institute did. California Institute of the Arts. He got on the show the semester before I did. So the buzz when they, we heard that Janet Jackson was leaving the show and they were looking so, to replace her was like, it can happen for us. It could be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was like everybody's running to get on the set. But, but well, tell us about your audition. That was my insane. audition. Well, I'm not a dancer. So I didn't think I had a chance. Fame seemed to focus on dancers, although the talent was all over the place. Yeah. But um, we had dancer friends who wanted to go. I had a car, so I'm like, I'll take you guys. No problem. I want to see what it was like. There's 6,000 girls lined up all around the soundstage, and Debbie Allen's on the soundstage. I want to meet her. Yeah. But I can't unless I have a number. So I'm like, well, give me a number, because I'm going to meet Debbie. <laughs> I get in, and they're doing the singing audition first, and I'm like, well, I can sing. So. I'm gonna audition while I'm here, and seven. And your voice later. is on the on the theme. On oh, the isn't theme it? song, yeah. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> it's magic. Did, did they get the? Yeah, it's the thing. Did they? That's show? right. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, it, this is the thing. It's about the world. It's about the excitement. And I know lots of you have never left it. And, and Carlo, for you, I mean, you're not just in front of uh, camera, but you're also you're involved in, in sets and all sorts of the movies. We do, you know, the entertainment in industry, as we were talking earlier, is, is so huge. Yeah. There are so many aspects of, of the industry. Um, but everybody, you know, ultimately wants to be in front of the camera. And, yeah. But, um... Back to why, why, why we are here today, and, and it really is magical. Um, 
what we experience today yeah. makes us realize why we keep, for some reason, for sure. keep being pulled back together. Yeah. And it just reinforces the, the, the love that we have for each other. And it's like, it's like what would happen but... in the series when we would gather together to do something good for something. But then, yeah. but then also what is yeah. amazing is that the passion, because we've got some fans here who love you guys. They've flown in from the Netherlands, <laughs> the US. <laughs> Dennis? Dennis? Yeah, yeah. would you like to ask me a question? Detroit, Michigan, thank you. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> some of you know why, what you mean to me, so thank all of you. I love you all very much. Uh, you've inspired me to have the courage to be a performer and turn my daughter and everyone, future generations. My question is, what were some of the best memories that you had during the heyday? Dancing with Gene Anthony Ray. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. I saw him in the film. Yes. I saw him in the yeah. film. He inspired me to keep uh, on my career path as a performer. I was in college at that time. Yeah. But then later on, to be actually be on stage with him, Debbie Allen, these beautiful people. Mm. And it's great for us to be able to continue to do that for the great causes that we do, like for mm. Claire House. Yeah. But then again, just to see, you know, and I have to say, he may be behind the camera, but when he really does what he was born to do and be in, in front performing, oh, wow. he's a rock star. We yeah. all are. But I know that last time you were together, you recorded a song called Satellite. Satellite, What's happened to that? you can get it under the Friends of Fame on YouTube, Satellite, and if you download it at Amazon or iTunes, we're going to donate a portion of the proceeds to the Claire House because the people that were there today, the people that worked there they are it. brilliant. Yeah. They deserve it. This is a yeah. great cause. Yeah. Yeah. Please open your pocketbook. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And good luck with the shows over the weekend. Good luck. We'll rehearse that move later. Oh, we'll rehearse that move later. <laughs> Yes. Six, seven, now, if you eight. want to join the cast of Fame and celebrate the series, you can this weekend at the Bank Arena in Liverpool. Don't forget your leg warmers. Anyway, uh, Paul, <laughs> Benjamin Zappanaya is going to be here uh, very shortly. But first, Tom.